Hello, my name is Daniel Gomes and I'm going to talk about the Portuguese Web Archive and other tools for researching the past. So today's ordinary information will be tomorrow's resource for historical research. So uh, ebooks and blogs or photo galleries that are used today to communicate through the web will be interesting tomorrow to, to analyze what happened in our current days. Or maybe not because the information that is available on the web uh, is extremely ephemeral. So as Tim Berners-Lee put it in 1998, uh, there are no reasons at all in theory for people to change what arise or stop maintaining documents, but millions of reasons in practice. So tools to access information that disappeared from its original sites are required. And I'm going to present some examples of these tools. For instance, if you use the Firefox uh, browser, you can install the Resurrect Pages add-on that enables you to quickly access um, um, alternative resources to find uh, a previous version of, of a given uh, page. For instance, in this case, uh, you can see that this uh, URL originated a, a file not found error and then when you use resurrect pages you can try to f to direct to to find a uh, previous version of of this page on uh, on the cache of of search engines or uh, in web archives another interesting add-on for firefox is the memento fox add-on so this um, this add-on in, in installs uh, a toolbar that enables, you, enables users to um, travel back and forth in time to, to see uh, previous versions of a given page. So what does what this, this said on, he basically accesses uh, web archives to gather uh, previous versions of uh, web documents. So th there are uh, several web archives uh, worldwide and uh, most of them they provide uh, URL search um, a URL search service. So basically uh, a user inserts an URL and then he uh, can access the, the uh, uh, and then the service provides a list of uh, versions of that URL that were archived in the past. But the problem is that um, it is extremely difficult for, for users that are trying to find a uh, given information that was published in the past to know the exact URL where this information was published. So what people need to, to take advantage of web archives and to, to explore the information that is archived there is that they need uh, full text search uh, services uh, similar to, to search engines so that they can search the past in the same way that they search the, the current web. So people want to Google the past. So to try to fulfill this need, um, the Portuguese Web Archive provides a full text search service. So if you access archive.pt, oops, sorry, you can uh, insert a set of keywords and then uh, delimit and then define the time span where we want to search. So in this case, we are looking for Hurricane Katrina um, and when to, we want to find pages that contain the words Hurricane Katrina uh, that were archived between 1996 and uh, 2010. The Portuguese Web Archive contains mainly uh, contents related to the Portuguese community, but the interface is available, uh, the user interface is available in Portuguese and English. Um, uh, if you combine this tool with the automatic translation tools such as Google Translate, although most of the contents are written in Portuguese, you can still find interesting uh, information that was published uh, in the past. The Portuguese Web Archive uh, search service is also available via Open Search Protocol. So, in a nutshell, uh, the Open Search Protocol enables to submit 
queries to the search service and then receive the results in a machine understandable format, in this case an XML format. Um, but from a practical point of view, open search enables users to um, add a direct search box to a given service. So in this case, if, if someone uh, needs to access or to search the Portuguese web archive very frequently, he can, uh, this, this person can uh, add this search box and then uh, directly submit queries to, to the Portuguese web archive. We also have an advanced search service that um, enables users to define uh, phrases that must be contained in the document or exclude documents that contain uh, a given set of words. Uh, the results, the search results uh, can be ordered by relevance or chronologically and the search can be restricted to some types of files. Um, if someone knows that the information that they are looking for is within, was published on a given site, this can also be defined through the advanced search, so the search can be restricted to a given website. We also have um, a tool that we call uh, the history of this page bookmarklet that can be uh, installed in our, in our, through our website. We have all the installation um, instructions available, so basically in Firefox you just have to drag this button to the toolbar and it will become immediately installed. Um, and then after you install it you get this link here on the toolbar and for if, if you are looking, if you are accessing, accessing, pardon me, a given page on the current web and you click on this link, you can immediately get a list of all the versions of the page that were archived in the past and then you can select one of them and see how the page was in the past. In this example we can see uh, a version of the, the page that was archived in 1996. So how can people collaborate with the Portuguese web archive? Um, well, web archives uh, must select information to be uh, collected from the web, stored and preserved for later access. And it is uh, unattainable to archive everything. It is, not, uh, it is not even technically possible. But this doesn't mean that we, um, that we cannot uh, archive most of the relevant uh, or the most relevant websites. So in this sense, anyone can contribute to suggest a site to be archived for later access through this URL here. Um, on the other hand, um, people can also contribute to web archiving by following recommendations to publish preservable websites. So uh, there are some requirements that must be met so that information can be preserved for, for later access. Uh, some are more technical, for instance, to use open formats, but some other recommendations are quite simple, such as to always include a uh, publication date within the document. You can find a list, uh, a document um, available on the website through this link here, where you can find all the, the, the recommendations to publish preservable websites. This also following uh, or creating uh, preservable, preservable websites has additional uh, benefits because by following these recommendations uh, you are also uh, uh, creating sites that are more accessible for people with disabilities and also uh, that are better processed by search engines. So we'll, you will also receive more visits for, for, from this kind of uh, services. To collaborate with the Portuguese Web Archive, you can also uh, disseminate our project. So, if you want, you can follow us through this site here. We have several, dis several dissemination channels, um, and um, you can then uh, disseminate the, the, the news about our project that you are publishing. Because it doesn't make sense to have a service if it is not broadly used.
So to conclude, please feel free to contact us. Uh, send me an email. It will be a pleasure to hear from you. If you want to learn more about our service or to try it, please visit archive.pt. Thank you.